Hello, back again with another quick little, you may know this, but if you don't, you should tip. This is about overcutting in Final Cut 10 and uh, more specifically using the clip skimmer to help you do that. Overcutting in Final Cut 10 is like overcutting in anything else with one uh, glaring exception, which I'll get to in a second. The first thing you need to do is if you've done any audio work, when you replace the clip, you're going to replace the audio too. So if you've done lots of, uh, you know, trimming of audio I haven't here, you want to keep your audio. And like any other NLE, you need to make the audio separate from your video to replace the video without blowing away the audio by simply doing that. Uh, no, simply doing that. And there you go. So now all your lovely audio is going to be saved. Now you can cut in your uh, clips when you replace them with the audio if you decide that you want to use better audio from your new beautifully retimed source which isn't exactly the same as your uh, project like it is here because why else would you be overcutting anyway so like anything else you want to go to your first frame here and go ahead and select the clip Go to your first frame here, which I have cleverly made a marker for. There's your match frame right there. Uh, mark that in, and then um, option R, replace from start, done. Um, same deal with replace from end. This clip is a little weird. It's a 15 frames per second clip in a 2398. Uh, project, so this is not going to be exactly right. It'll be a frame off, but you get the idea. You find the end frame, and then you go to your source, and you find the end frame, and you mark that as out, and then you, I have mapped the keyboard to Control Command R, which is replaced from end. You can do it any way you'd like. There, that is now replaced from end. So that's all well and good. Now the glaring omission is match frame replace. In other words, in other NLEs, you can go to, you know, say this frame and find the same corresponding frame up in here and wherever the playhead is, that is what will where it will be replaced from. Uh, what this is useful for, A, is if there's no good match at the beginning of the end of the clip, although you can usually find something, um, you know, by going a few frames in and then finding that frame and then backing up in the source. It's not that big of a deal. Where it is a big deal is in a situation like this because I don't know where the end of that clip is. I don't know where the beginning of this clip is, really. I can't see it. So here's the little trick. The clip skimmer, which you want to turn on, there's your clip skimmer. You can skim around and you, know, you can hear your audio if I have that on. The other thing that the clip skimmer will do though, however, is uh, skim right into your transition and beyond. Um, now it's gonna maybe go to the next clip. No, it won't. You can use the arrow keys, I use them a lot. You can just keep going forever. You're, it's sort of like, you know, when you open up the precision editor, you get that um, function, but you don't need to do that. It's all right here, like this one. Where does this go? Well, it just keeps going. Huh? Pretty cool. So anyway, the nice thing about that is when you can't see uh, the first or last frame, but you need to replace and edit, you do simply skim to your last frame, which is that. And actually, if you skim through like this, it'll show you the cut if you drag it through. If you use the arrow keys, it'll just keep going. So in this case, you probably want to use the just drag it so you know that this is your last frame. So you would then uh, go up to your source here. Find the last frame. Overcutting is always a pain in the ass. Anyway, there you go, and then you go ahead and uh, select that clip, replace from end, and that is now done. So that's the little quick trick. Use your clip 
skimmer to find frames that you cannot see buried in transitions and make overcutting much easier. And then send feedback right up here. Tell them you want a match frame replaced back. Okay, hope you find it useful. Clip skimming, fun.